Hi everyone, I'm YC. Welcome to YC Cooks and Bakes. Thank you for joining me everyone. If you are brand new here, please comment, like, and subscribe so that you can get a copy of all my recipes that I put in the description. This evening, I am going to be making for my family coq au vin. And that is a delicious stewed type chicken. It can be done in the oven, it can be done in a Dutch oven and it has wonderful veggies and you can serve it over any kind of starch that you like. It can be over, you know, egg noodles or potatoes or rice or even French bread. Uh, so we will get started with coq au vin and I am going to show you everything that you are going to need. Now my recipe is for six pieces of chicken you'll see here and these are fillets I'm gonna tilt you forward these are fillets uh, for uh, chicken breasts and you know they don't have to be huge or anything but you want them to be at least uh, four ounce of four ounces each and then um, you're gonna need some ground thyme okay and some salt and some olive oil and a cup of chicken broth a couple tablespoons of tomato paste and you can use a red wine or any kind of wine like a, a Pinot Noir this is one that I like to use, Cabernet Sauvignon, any kind of dark wine or on the red side. Okay, you'll be using a cup of that. Half a cup of all-purpose flour. And you want a couple cups of quartered, uh, sliced lengthwise baby carrots and about three cups of quartered mushrooms and portobello is fine. That's what I'm going, going to be using. So I will get all this stuff together and I will meet you over at the stove. Okay everyone. I'm over at the stove and at the sink and I am going to, um, I had already mixed the half a cup of uh, flour with the couple teaspoons of uh, salt in fresh, uh, you can use ground thyme, that's what I'm using is ground thyme, but if you have fresh thyme you can sprinkle it on top of the recipe when this is all done and made, but I'm just using ground thyme today which is what the recipe calls for. Um, also, I want to mention in this recipe, there's usually like three slices of uh, Canadian bacon chopped up, but um, the what you find here in the stores is not the authentic uh, Canadian bacon. It, um, if anyone has ever seen it, they would know that. I mean, they know that. Uh, so I am going to omit it today, and we are just doing the chicken, which is fine because this is a this is one of my you know easy peasy recipes. It's usually like you know when you go quick and you don't you're not explaining everything. It only takes about thirty minutes to get it in the oven, and then you just the finish cooking the chicken all the way through. But we're first going to sear it in um, a pan and a little bit of olive oil to get that flavor in the pan for your vegetables. And then everything goes together and is covered in the oven until uh, you bring the chicken to at least 170 degrees. Um, so my salt, thyme, and flour are mixed together. And like I said, the measurements uh, will be in the description. And I'm going to dredge the uh, filleted chicken breast through it and place them on this plate for searing. And like I said, this recipe uh, does have six portions. Okay. And when you get done uh, making these, 
uh, each portion is uh, before the starch is about um, 255 calories but it does offer 26 grams of protein which is fantastic and your um, the veggies we're using today are uh, portobello mushrooms and carrots like I showed you okay and um, the star spice of the show today is time. just I say dredge but I shake them in the bowl like I, I shimmy the bowl like that so I can cover them so they look like this and it goes quick I only have one more to do okay and that's it and I may dredge them again before throwing them in um, the olive oil. And the reason why we're using olive oil as opposed to a different one is because uh, you do keep your oil in um, the pan this time because it, it goes with the dish. Um, so you're probably going to only use, um, I marked it down what I, I normally use, like a couple tablespoons or something like that. Yeah, two tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, because you're looking for that flavor on the bottom for when you throw in the mushrooms and the carrots and that's when you're going to put in you know the wine and broth and stuff like that so okay so I'll go ahead and do that now I'll put in some olive oil and I have, I'm going to put mine in a Pyrex dish today and put it in the oven. But if you have a Dutch oven, you can just keep it in there and put the lid on and put it in the oven. But I'm not going to do that. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to do um, two at a time once this heats up so it's gonna go quick so like um, I'm just basically putting the chicken on each side for three or four minutes and turning it over three or four minutes and boom it goes into my sprayed Pyrex dish so I will get all this started and I will bring you back okay we're back um, the oil, the olive oil is ready now, and I did uh, dredge the chicken fillets another time, so it's time to place them in the oil. You can smell the thyme. It's amazing. It's really, really good. It's a beautiful smell.
I love it. It's, it's an awesome smell. And then when you use the uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and the chicken broth, the chicken bouillon, and the um, tomato paste to get up all the flavor off the bottom and mix it with your vegetables. It's absolutely fantastic and makes a beautiful cup over. When I turn these ones over, I will show you what they look like. And then I'll go ahead and, and get the rest of them done for my pirate dish. I hope everybody's having a good Sunday. I've been, I was doing bedding and stuff like that today. <laughs> I think um, South Carolina had their first frost last night. It's supposed to get down to 30 something tonight too. And 34 tomorrow night. Two degrees above freezing. So. If you're wondering why I keep looking around, I'll get this thing back at you in front of my cloth on the stove. <laughs> Yeah, I was starting to, started to think the other day, is there a recipe that I don't start off with onions and garlic? And I kept thinking, I said, oh yeah, there is. This one. <laughs> well, there you go. Let's see what it looks like. It's hard when you're using a Dutch oven or a deep uh, pots and pans like this. Is, unless you have the you know, type of camera, it's hard to see down inside it. You know? Okay, so and I think on that one piece you can actually be able to see the green spices from the thyme. I'll show it to you. If I can see the, the green spices on the chicken. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these done and I will bring you back. Okay, we're back. <laughs> My fan is smoking. That's all that good flavor. Um, you can see the beautiful chicken. I don't know if you can see, um, you know, how browned it is. It's like slightly browned. And I'm going to put this in the oven to keep it warm. Uh, while I do the vegetables in the sauce and everything and this is um, the flavor I'm talking about on the bottom of the pan I don't know if you can see it okay it's actually light brown I know it looks looks dark on there because I have a dark stove and everything okay so let's see here you want to Get some of that. I'm going to go ahead and add these vegetables. And like I said, we have quartered carrots and mushrooms. I always drop some on the other side, don't I? No, I got lucky this time. So 
so we're just um, basically sauteing these to get that flavor up off the bottom and then um, we will add our uh, tomato paste bouillon and cabernet sauvignon The, the, the smell of the thyme is just absolutely amazing. Okay, I'll show you. See? It's all down in the pot. And um, once you see, I'm going to hang on to it in the pot holder because it's hot. Once you see it lift up most of the flavor, you know, you can start to add your other ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna do the tomato paste. Then the ball. Smells so good. Ha! Oh, smells very, very, very good. I mean, this. I just, I really wish you could smell this. Oh my goodness. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And I did, um, there was some flour down in the bottom, which is good because it'll help thicken the, the sauce a little bit because this is kind of like, more like um, a stewed uh, chicken in uh, as opposed to just a, like a soup or something. Um, but I saved some of my flour and thyme so that I could put a, a, a little bit in here as I see, you know, as it, as it warrants to do so. Um, and then I'm gonna pour this all over that Pyrex dish of chicken and cover it and finish cooking it. And then I'm going to put it on top of egg noodles. And I will wait for this to do its magic and I will bring you back. Okay, we're back. Um, I had sauteed the veggies, get up off that all that flavor out of the pan, and it made a beautiful sauce when I poured everything in. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can tilt you forward. There it is. <laughs> so there you have it. Cock oven. And we're just gonna serve ours over egg noodles you can put it with any starch though um i'll put it in the description hope you give it a try please comment like and subscribe tell me what you're having for supper tonight good night